Hello everyone, this is Lamin Sane of LS Web Apps and in today's video we're gonna be um, showing the published and unpublished pages. So we're gonna create an extra page which shows the pages which haven't been published and then we're gonna show them there. Alright, so the first thing we need to do is we need to create another page called unpublished. Alright, so let's go ahead and do that. So we'll say unpublished .php. Okay. And inside there, we're going to copy everything that we have inside the um, published page list, that is the index.php, and we're going to paste that in there, right? But we're going to do some modifications. So instead of calling get pages, we're going to call get unpublished pages. So we haven't, create, uh, we haven't created that function yet, so we're going to do that in a moment. But let's make some adjustments here, like do saying changing the header title to say unpublished. And next, let's go into our functions.php and create that function now. Okay, so let's say get unpublished page pages, and then now we just have put function here. And next, what we need to do is let's go inside the um pages um, get page function the one that gets the list of pages and then we're going to copy everything inside there but we're going to have to do a small modification so let's copy the contents of that and then paste that inside of get on published pages so what we're selecting here we're saying select id title body from pages but we're going to have to put a condition here to say where because a page that has not been published has um the published property set to zero so we're going to say where publish equal to zero okay so get the pages that have that published equal to zero and then we're gonna go to up to the part where it says get pages and then we're gonna change the part to um, where published equal to one okay so because when a page is published it's a uh, published property um, or column in the database is set to one and then next let's go to our header um, the php here and then add another um link there in the navigation to say um on published page so let's duplicate this one that says pages let's um, change the um, title to say unpublished pages and then we're gonna say pages for slash unpublished dot php okay so now going back into our browser let's refresh that and now as you can see we have another page here that says unpublished right so clicking on that that will bring us to this unpublished pages list so let's edit that and you can see that the um, published um, property here or checkbox is unchecked so let's go to the pages list and then let's try to edit one of those as you can see the published property is checked so now let's go to the um, list of published pages let's try to make one of them unpublished but let's confirm that it's not um, on the unpublished pages list so as you can see the one here that says another page is not in this list here let's go to pages and edit it so we're gonna set it to unpublished and then update so now let's go to the unpublished pages as you can see it is showing up there okay so that's it that brings us to the end of this video wherein we added unpublished pages to our application and i thank you for watching i will see you soon cheers bye bye